بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Medical education is perceived as a stressful educational career and medical students undergo monstrous stress during their undergraduate studies, internship as well as in residency training program. This could affect their cognitive functions, practical life as well as patient's care. Studies had shown that excessive stress can interfere with efficient learning, impair memory, increase anxiety, decrease sleep, and decrease their problem-solving ability. There are many studies which have investigated the prevalence of stress in undergraduate medical students and during their postgraduate training program. Little is published about stress level in newly graduate medical student or as we call them intern who are undergoing clinical training. Therefore, we initiated this study to investigate the prevalence of self-perceived stress among the newly medical graduate during their internship clinical rotations. And it's and also we studied its correlation with gender, marital status, and different clinical rotations. We have used a validated self-administered questionnaire for this purpose known as Kessler 10. Our results showed that the majority of interns were under stress. Most of interns were affected with severe uh, stress followed by mild and moderate level of stress. The stress level was found to be higher among female interns as compared to the male interns and the results were statistically significant. Interestingly, marital status have no role in ca causing stress as seen in some international studies. By looking at the different clinical rotations, we found that the highest stress level was in medicine, followed by surgery, pediatric, obstructive and gynecology, and emergency medicine. From the study results, we concluded that there is a high level of stress among the medical interns. Female interns were more stressed than the males Medical and surgical rotations were the more stressful than the other clinical rotations. As the prevalence of uh, severe stress among medical interns high, it needs supports and subsequent interventions to care for our junior medical doctors. Thank you.